Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Yahoo email account. An email accounts vital to get the best out of the web today. First thing to do is to open your internet browser and to type in www.yahoo.com to the address bar at the top of the screen. You'll now see the Yahoo UK homepage which gives access to uh, Yahoo email facilities as well as other Yahoo services. Once you have an email account you will come to this page to sign in. When you're first setting up you'll need to click on sign up so use your mouse or keypad to move the cursor to the words sign up and click once with your left mouse button. The screen will now change to the Yahoo email sign up form. This is where you will create the email account you use to access Yahoo email later on. There's several boxes to fill in on the screen, but just take your time, do them one at a time. To enter text, you'll first need to point your cursor at the box that you want to complete. Use your mouse or your trackpad to move the cursor on screen and then click once with the left button to access the box. Use the keyboard to type in your details. If you make a mistake, press the backspace key and start again. Below this, Yahoo asks for your gender. This is a drop down box, so point your mouse at the box, click once with the left mouse and the options will appear. Move the mouse to the one you want and click once again to select that one. Yahoo also asks for your birthday. Uh, fill in your birthday details. Remember, if the box looks like this, you need to select the option from a drop down list. To do this, point your cursor at the box, click once with your left mouse button, and then move the mouse to select your answer and click again. Because Yahoo operates all over the world, they also ask for the country that you are in so that they can make sure they operate in accordance with local laws. So select the correct option from that list and then add your postcode in the next box down. Moving down, the next box asks you to type in the Yahoo email address that you would like. This will be the name that you use to access the account when you come back to Yahoo so you'll want to choose something you can remember. It is also going to be your email address which will be seen by anyone you send messages to so think carefully about what you want this to be. Most people start by trying their own name so type this into the box without spaces and click the box that says check to see if you can use it or if someone else with the same name has got there first. If your name has been used, Yahoo will suggest some options based on the name that you've asked for. You can select one of those or try a different option. Think about using full stops or numbers to make something that means something to you and is recognisable to others. Now we come to the password section. Your password needs to be something you will remember but others can't guess. You'll need to use your password every time you log into your email account. You can make your password harder for others to guess by using numbers, symbols or a mix of capital and small letters. As you can see, Yahoo rates this password as very strong. Take a moment to think of a password and how you can make it more secure while still memorable, then type it into both boxes. Once you've set a password, you're almost there. You need to move down the screen for the last few questions. These questions are here so that if you have any problems using Yahoo email, Yahoo can make sure it's you they are helping. If you already have another email address, you can enter it here, and if you have problems, Yahoo will send help instructions to that address. Don't worry if you don't have another email address, just ignore that box and move to the secret questions. First, choose the question you want them to ask if you're having trouble by selecting from the drop down list. Use your mouse just as you did earlier. Now move your cursor to point at the next box, click your left mouse button once 
and use your keyboard to type the answer. Make sure this is an answer you are sure of and check your spelling as it will need to match exactly if you need help from Yahoo. Also in this section is a word verification. Yahoo uses this to prove you are a human rather than a computer. A word verification is also sometimes called a capture code. Move your cursor over the box, click your left mouse button once and use your keyboard to type the letters you see in the image. If you can't recognize the letters, you can listen to them by clicking on audio code. Finally, to get a Yahoo email account, you must accept the Yahoo terms of service. It's a good idea to have a read of these so that you understand what you're agreeing to. Move your cursor over the words in blue and click your left mouse button once to read the various documents. Now you're ready to go. Move your cursor to point at the create my account button and click the left mouse button once to confirm. Congratulations, you've got a Yahoo email account. You'll now be taken back to the Yahoo homepage with lots of content such as news headlines. To view your emails, move your cursor to point at the word mail on the left hand side and click your left mouse button once. Be sure to remember your email address and password as you'll need this information every time you want to sign in. Now you should be able to set up your own Yahoo email account and make full use of the internet. Thanks for listening.